Hello, today I'm going to review this Sony stereo cassette deck. The model exactly is the TC WA475. I will show you exact model here. Okay, so uh, this is my first review of a cassette deck player. This is nothing special, nothing special, just a simple double cassette deck, Sony double cassette deck. Um, it's from early, I don't know, 2001, maybe 2002. I don't know the exact date. Uh, what What is happening with this machine is that uh, it was produced for, from my point of view, for mass usage. I mean, there is nothing special to it. There is no free head deck. There is uh, no bias adjustment or other controls. And uh, the only thing that you can do, you can use for the recording level. And uh, it has an interesting function that uh, some kind of automatic recording level or ARL that Sony calls it. Here is the button. Here is the button. And I will show you exactly what that button do uh, in this video. Okay, the condition of the of this is not is not very good. I mean the optical one, but the technical it's one hundred percent fully functional. What can you we notice? It's that it's a it's a silver cassette deck. Uh, most of the cassette decks from from that time was black but they start to make some silver ones because the i don't know maybe the idea of the i believe they 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 already have dvds in that in that period of time and i believe this is almost the time when the cassette deck are was the end of life let's put it like this i mean when not a lot of people using cassette deck players but okay i will do a quick presentation to the to this machine it has two cassettes i already told you that a yeah and b okay and for each side it has an auto reverse option like we can see here it has play right left stop forward uh, and the function that uh, sony Anyway, they don't use fast forward, they use AMS. They use the same AMS word also for the CD players or the M music, M mini disc, sorry. It has some buttons here for resetting the counter or memory the counter. It has also the same button here in the right. The tape selection is automatically, I mean, uh, it don't have uh, the normal buttons like the old uh, old decks have it uh, for chrome type 1 chrome or metal tape but to be honest with you all the decks uh, that was made uh, uh, earlier uh, no sorry that was made uh, in the end of the deck era was very very smart i mean they have a lot of technologies in them uh, the sound was pretty cool even from a two head deck like this one and uh, to be honest with you the recorder isn't bad also the recording isn't bad also uh, like you can see the machine is playing uh, the left the right deck sorry the right deck uh, I use some cassette decks cassette tape sorry I, I found it. this is very cheap one I found it almost for free nothing special nothing special I try to record something on it, but uh, the sound is pretty awful to be honest. I mean, I have some Agfa cassettes, some TDK, the sound is good, but this one is almost shameless, uh, for uh, almost uh, a shame. Okay, so uh, back to the back to the presentation of the of the deck. Nothing special. I already told you that. Uh, the buttons for auto reverse, uh, rewind or fast forward. Uh, the button that you can you can switch between Dolby's, B, C, or Dolby O. It also has HX Pro 
but the HX Pro cannot be disabled. It's all on the time that uh, that is running. You can dubbing the tapes. You, it has this kind of function, like yeah, you can dubbing the tape from one side to another side. It has some kind of. Uh, uh, you can choose between high and normal. I mean, when you choose high, okay, the the pitch. Oh, uh, I want to remind you about this. This is an interesting thing. It has a pitch controller. What does it mean? It's like the turntable. You can increase or decrease the the speed level of the of the rotor. This is very interesting because if you have a bad belt or a tape that was that you like it but is not in very good condition. You can use that pitch controller to adjust it but to be honest with you i keep it on off mode because this deck it's okay and the belts are fine so no worry about the belts and the rubber pieces okay i also can use this button you see the side the synchro button the synchro button from here can be used it's it's starting for a little bit like you can see yeah when i press it it's starting okay so it's starting a recording, yeah, and it shows you what is the side and you can get a sound from the source there uh, or the, the machine, the other machine that you want to, to record some something. Okay, now to be honest with you, there is nothing special with this deck, nothing very interesting to be honest. Okay, let me show you a little bit the sound, just a little bit. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I don't know what is on this day, but let's let's try to see. It's a new tape. I recorded it two days ago, I believe. Let's see the other time. recording was made with this deck uh, the source was an Apple TV uh, and uh, it was from directly from YouTube so I use some RCA cables connect to the back of the machine uh, and uh, and the recording level was set automatically yeah when I press here you can see it switch on the automatic record level okay from my point of view is not a real record level i mean it set the value of the sound to the zero decibels here and uh, if you have a bad source or the sar the source is not very powerful uh, you have to to use also manual mode and the manual mode it's enabled you can see when you switch this button yeah so you are in manual mode if you want again you can activate it from the automatic recording level. Uh, I prefer to, to do my recordings in manual mode. For me, it's very interesting like this. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, the, the belts is fine. You can uh, fast forward here and rewind here if you see. Okay. It seems that oh this tape it's okay. Now let's see. I believe it can play also from the boat deck in the same time, but I see that the priority is deck number one. I will show you right away. Uh, to 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 be honest with the sound. It's not very bad it's a two head deck okay nothing special it don't have that fancy sound features that all the pioneers or the nakamichi have it but you know it's a it's an honest deck if you want to play some old cassette that you have at home or you have it from your I don't know when you're younger or it, it wake you up some memories from your early years of your life 
why not this is a good machine for playing tapes from my point of view okay the quality is not bad the quality is not bad but if you want to make some recordings if you want to to see how cassette deck works uh, i recommend you the late models from sony that use dolby s the k1990 or uh, from nakamichi yeah, all, everybody knows the nakamichi dragon but that that machine it's not very cheap it's to be honest it's very very uh, expensive maybe 1000 euro so pff, i'm not sure if it worth that kind of money but yeah the internet is large maybe you can find a better offer i don't know to to use a deck in these days someone told you that okay you are a nostalgic man or maybe you like it very much the machine because i don't see i don't see a real reason i don't see a real reason why you you buy a deck if you don't like this or if you don't want to see maybe you are young like me or in that period of time when they when they rule the market let's say like this and uh, now you want to see exactly how a machine like this works okay uh, i will present you another deck i have another deck the pioneer ct737 the pioneer it's big like a tank almost 10 kilograms and the sound is incredible i will make a head to head uh, in a, in a future video sony vs pioneer but to to tell you the truth i can i don't have what to compare the sound is perfect on the pioneer or almost perfect the recording level it's brilliant it has a three deck this is only a simple deck for, for playing old cassettes or if you want to to enter in this deck cassette deck uh, world and uh, you want to see something that you didn't have or you want to to try something new i mean if you don't want to to spend a lot of money you can buy a machine like this on the second hand market you can find it here in romania with i don't know maybe 20 euros 15 euros in a very good shape or maybe maximum of 13 euros a double deck a double deck yes uh, if you want a three deck head then you have to pay minimum 15 euros minimum and maybe you have to service the machine and believe me guys if you want to service that cassette deck in these days it's more expensive than that than you pay then you will pay on the machine you know i mean maybe to replace all the bells to clean all the stuff and uh, this is not the this is not the the hardest part the hard the or the money the hardest part will be to find someone that has i don't know maybe dealt in the past with the cassette decks maybe in the 90s or um, early 90s because now in these days if you if you want to speak with someone about cassette decks or if you want to replace a belt maybe you can you can buy it for yourself or you can try it to replace the belt because you you cannot find a lot of people that in these days that can repair this kind of machine i mean if you want to buy be very careful ask if the owner that itself machine has some kind of service manual or uh, the service was due recently because to buy a machine that it's already that is the price is already expensive maybe 15 euros 100 euros and then you have to make a service to replace some bad caps or to replace something in the mechanical uh, try or uh the belts Oof, believe me it will be a pain it will be a pain but yeah what what can we do so thank you very much for watching i just want to present you in this small movie this little deck from sony nothing special only a two deck uh to to deck to cassette deck yeah and uh, okay bye bye